just an introduction uh, to me and how I got to Queen Mary. So uh, I've always been interested in maths and problem solving. Um, and as for what A-levels I did, I did maths, further maths, history and chemistry. So I was always interested in a mix of different subjects. Um, and it was through further maths that uh, I did a lot of statistics modules. And that's what led me to choosing uh, this degree in particular. So we're going to start by looking at uh, what you encounter in your first year and how that's going to look like. Um, so in your introductory week, uh, you'll get to do an essential math skills test um, just to see where you're at and uh, to ease you into maths at university. And you'll be assigned a personal academic advisor who will help you throughout your time uh, at the university with academic work and module choices. So number sets and functions is an interactive module uh, where you'll have uh, tutorials each week, which will be like lessons you have at school currently and is designed to help ease into the transition from school to university based maths. Uh, you will then take kind of core subjects such as calculus, uh, geometry and algebra, probability and statistics. Um, and the first year is really designed. Uh, so it's similar for all the maths courses and that you can find out about what you're interested in and can choose what you might want to specialize in later or if you want to change courses at the end of first year, you can. Yeah, another key advantage of this course is that uh, you get to do a kind of practical skills module each year. So in the first year, this is computing and data analysis with Excel. Um, and that uh, really gets you used to uh, working with computing data. Um, and in the second year, you'll get to do introduction to computer programming. Uh, and there's opportunities to learn languages such as R and Python across other modules. Um, in the second year, it becomes more specialized. So you have kind of the core mass modules of differential equations, applied linear algebra, and then the statistics core modules of probability and statistics and statistical modeling. Um, but then you can choose the other modules. Uh, I personally did um, quite applied modules in actuarial maths and statistics for insurance, which was um, kind of using statistics uh, and applied models to kind of uh, predict uh, the future and to manage uh, risks. And then in um, third year, you have a lot more freedom to really pick whatever modules you're interested in. Um, the, first, the only compulsory statistical ones are Bayesian statistical methods and statistical modeling too, which builds on all the statistics work you did in the previous two years. Uh, but then as for the other modules, you can pick what you're interested in. Uh, I picked quite a broad range of topics um, from random processes to kind of complex networks. But the uh, other interesting module that I did was communicating and teaching mathematics. Um, so uh, I'm going to go into teaching uh, and be starting a PGC in September. And uh, this module allows you to go into a school and get to experience teaching maths. Um, and you reflect upon this each week. And there's kind of guest speakers from education that come in. So it's a really interactive module and quite a unique experience. Uh, as for how uh, these modules will be structured, uh, you have uh, two semesters each year for, and you take four modules in semester A and then four in semester B. Um, and Queen Mary's just switched to having January exams. So you'll do your first four modules, take exams in January and then take the other four modules and then take the other exams in the summer. And for each module, you have a two hour lecture and a one hour lecture um, each week. And they're spread out throughout the week. Um, and for universities, Wednesday afternoon is uh, kept free. 
But as for uh, how uh, the module lectures are, they can be across a variety of different times, uh, anywhere from nine to uh, from five to six throughout the day. Uh, so for each module, you have three hours of lectures, which are the dark blue squares. Um, and then the light blue represents tutorials, uh, which you'll kind of get to go over a problem sheet each week, which is like a weekly coursework, which is like a homework that you'd be used to. Um, and then as you do the problems each week, you can get support for that and you get given feedback. Um, so you can see how you're uh, coping with the course. And then the uh, gray uh, rectangles are computer labs. So for things uh, like statistical modeling or interaction to computer programming, um, you'll get to uh, work in computer labs. So uh, living in Queen Mary, what's really great is that it's a campus in London, uh, which is quite unique. And it's, um, it's a really nice campus. Uh, you've got the Queen's building in the top right here, which is kind of like the uh, iconic building. Um, and now Queen Mary guarantees accommodation for all first years. So I lived on campus on first year and it's uh, got everything there to support you, like 24 hour security, laundry, there's gym, shops, so uh, everything, there's a bank, everything uh, you need for you is all in one place. Um, and the campus seems quite large at first, but it doesn't actually take that long to go from one end to the other. So it's all in one space that's accessible for you. Um, and the new maths building was the, developed uh, this year and the end of last year. Uh, and that has a new uh, social space uh, just for math students and various places to study. Um, and in the top right, uh, you've got Canal Side, which is a study space along the canal, which is uh, really nice in the summer months. Uh, then in the bottom left, you've got the library, which is uh, open 24 hours throughout the year um, and has multiple study spaces, including private and quiet study spaces uh, if you prefer that environment and then there's also uh, kind of areas you can book as a group if you want to work collaboratively or work on group projects uh, and it's uniquely placed in, in uh, mile end uh, which is really good as it's a mile from the city but then uh, also close to places in east london that are of interest um, so you have Shoreditch in the top left here, Canary Wharf, um, and then Stratford, um, um, and then the city. So there's really lots to do um, <laughs> locally. Uh, so at Stratford, you've got Westfield, the shopping centre, then all the Olympic uh, sporting facilities. Mm -hmm. um, so it's... Uh, there's lots to, uh, to enjoy and keep you busy throughout your degree. Um, and in terms of sports and fitness, uh, at Queen Mary, there's Key Motion, which is the gym. Uh, and then they also have Get Active sessions uh, in sports and like badminton, football, uh, basketball, which are uh, more relaxed sessions uh, throughout all times and days that anyone can participate in. Um, and then they have the weekly social leagues. So uh, I played in the weekly social basketball league. Uh, you get put in a team and you get to play each Tuesday, uh, which was really good. And then this is a full list of the different sports clubs uh, if you wanted to be part of a team. Um, so throughout my time at Queen Mary, uh, I've been fortunate to participate in a lot of uh, opportunities that are offered to you um, and they have a dedicated careers team and uh, someone who works uh, as a careers consultant with the School of Maths uh, to give you the best opportunities. Uh, so there's the Q Consult program which uh, I took part in and this is a, a chance to work with uh, three or four other students uh, in a group and uh, undertake a mini consultancy project 
with a local business or charity. So uh, I worked with uh, Mental Health First Aid and it was we uh, developed surveys and looked at how to improve the service that they were offering. Uh, you get a lot of professional support and uh, mentoring throughout the program um, and it's available to students across all years and subjects. Um, Q Tasters uh, program I think aimed at first years and it allows you to uh, visit different offices across the city each week and look at different industries and find out what you're interested in. And then Q Mentoring uh, connects you with uh, professionals who are, are working and gives you uh, opportunities to learn from them and develop. Uh, so I also uh, work as a maths ambassador. So as part of this, uh, I'm delivering this presentation now. Um, and I also get to work uh, on a variety of different uh, roles as part of this. So we have like um, community uh, festivals where we, which we worked with students from uh, all ages. Um, and then we have uh, open days and offer holder days. Um, and then we have a summer school for year 11 students. Uh, so there's, you get to work with uh, all age groups and uh, promote maths and studying it. Um, at the end of my second year, uh, I did a teaching internship. Uh, and this was a really good experience and what made me decide to go into um, teaching. Um, so this was actually recommended from the careers consultant um, and is a fairly recent government scheme uh, where they pay for university students to go into schools in the summer and gain experience in teaching. Um, and then during uh, first year, uh, the, you, there's normally uh, insight days that you can do uh, to then see what companies you're interested in to then apply for internships in second year. So I did an insight day a uh, couple of days with Deloitte in first year and they actually uh, paid for me to like travel to their offices and uh, spend time with them and learn about uh, the financial services that they provide. Um, and then also in your free time, you can participate in societies and these range from a variety of different things. So there's academic societies like the math society or history or law. There's then uh, arts, music and performance. Um, one of my friends was in a performing society. And I uh, watched one of their plays of Macbeth. It was like really good. Um, and there's the like campaigning political societies, the full range of cultural uh, societies. Queen Mary's um, such a diverse place, um, and then various other societies like recreational and social. So there's um, something for everyone. Um, and in Freshers uh, Week, you know, there's a huge fair where you can go around and see what all the societies uh, have to offer.